from tomorrow. Today I forgot tomorrow, inshallah, if there are more youngsters, I'm going to bring them chocolate, inshallah. If they come in large number, inshallah ta'ala. So bring your friends tomorrow, your classmates, your schoolmates, as many as you can bring, inshallah ta'ala. And I will treat you with some nice chocolates. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, our Qurra, our Iman, they have recited today, Jews number 6. And Jews number 6, it begins with the last few verses of Surah Nisa, and the rest of the Jews is made of Surah Al-Ma'idah. And I would like to draw your attention to very few important things. Number one, there is a lot talked about the Ahlul Kitab, the people of the book. Anybody knows who are the Ahlul Kitab, young men? Ahlul Kitab, people of the book. Yes, Ibrahim. Yes, Christians and Jews, they are called people of the book. Well done, inshallah. You will get, definitely get chocolate from me tomorrow, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. So, Ahlul Kitab, they are discussed. And one of the very important issues regarding Christians, and we need to understand it and we need to teach it to our children because we are living in a country where this is discussed in schools, it is discussed in work, it is discussed in, in many places. So, it is very important that we educate ourselves and then we educate our children. And that is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلَنَا الْمَسِيحَ عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ That the Jews and the Christians, the Ahlul Kitab, they believe that we killed Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. The son of Mary and the messenger of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to it. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سُلَبُوهُ He was neither killed nor was he crucified. They claim, some of them claim we killed him. Some of the, they claim that he put, put him on the cross. Isa alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سُلَبُوهُ Neither he was killed, nor he was crucified. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ But it was made appear to them like this. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ And those people who differed in this. Some they say he was killed, some of them say he was crucified. So they disagreed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَفِي شَكِّ مِنْهُمْ مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْهُمْ They have no knowledge. They have no certainty. They are only in doubt. There is no knowledge with them. They are only talking out of doubt. إِلَّا اتِّبَاعَ الزُّونَ And they are following conjecture. Guesswork. They are only guessing. They are not certain about this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the truth about this matter is that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that he was neither killed nor crucified. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him aloud to him to himself. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was neither killed nor crucified. But what happened to him? He was raised to the sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him to himself. Right? Ibrahim. Tomorrow we'll be quizzing inshallah in this. Okay. And then Another verse here, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ahl al kitabi, la taghlu fi deenukum, wa la taqulu ala Allah illa al haq. O people of the book, don't exaggerate in your religion. And don't say things about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa al haq, except that which is true, which is truth. Innam al Masihu isa ibn Maryam. And the other thing which they said, the, the Christians, they said they made Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. They made him, some of them made him the Lord, the God. And some of them made him the son of God. So they give this divinity. They say that he is the son of God. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no. إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحُ عِيْسَ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ He is not the son of God. He is the son of Maryam alayhi salam. He is the son of Mary. Whose son is Isa? Mary. Maryam alayhi salam. And Rasulullah, and he is not the son of Allah, but he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa kalimatuhu, his word, al ila marima, which was given to Maryam alayhi salam. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further in this verse, Inna ilahu wahid. Subhanahu, Allah is only one. 
There is no God worthy of worship except one Allah. Allah is only one. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say Allah is one. Allah doesn't beget any son. Now Allah has any parents. He doesn't beget any children. Now he is, he is he born out of any one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only and only one. One true God. And whenever, you know, this concept of uh, uh, Isa alayhi salam being the son of uh, Allah is mentioned in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses powerful words. For example, in another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those people who say that Allah has begotten a son, it is like calling names to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, almost the sky will fall down and the earth will split open. It is that serious when these people say that Allah has begotten a son because subhanahu Allah is perfect. Allah is free from such defect. These are only human imperfections. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from such imperfections. Subhanahu an yakula lahu waladun lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard. It is against the status of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have a son. It doesn't befit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just to have a son. Everything which is in the heavens and the earth, it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the master, he is the owner, he is the lord of everything. And then another important point uh, uh, in this juice, that is about the food. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uhillat lakum bahimatul an'am that those grazing stuff, those eating grass, in simple words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made them halal for you. And then Allah says, حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَيْتَةُ Then Allah gives us a list of some things which are made haram for us. So the first one in them is الْمَيْتَةَ يعني um, dead meat. And then is وَدَّمُ That is blood. And then number three is وَلَحْمُ الْخِنْزِيرِ And that is pig. That is pork. Okay? Is spoke allowed in Christianity? Yeah? Is it allowed, Ibrahim? Yeah. It's not allowed, but they eat it. And they eat it so much that like they consider it to be, you know, like something which they are getting a sawab for it, a reward for it, right? Although in Christianity and in Judaism, eating pork is haram, right? It is haram. They have made it a Christian thing. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أُهِلَّ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ بِهِ And the food on which name other than Allah's name is taken. Right? We see people among ourselves, unfortunately, among our own community, that they slaughter things in the names of people. Right? In the names of people who are dead in the graves. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is haram. وَمَا أُهِلَّ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ This is because only it is allowed to take Allah's names when you are slaughtering something. Nobody is names. You can't attribute it. This was the practice of the mushrikeen in Mecca. They used to offer it to their idols. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then further mentions a couple of things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا زُبِهَا عَلَى nusub And that which is slaughtered on, on the altars. So like in, in Mecca the people, the mushrikeen, they used to do it. They used to bring their animals, slaughter them uh, there at the place of altar, and, and then they would present that meat to their gods to please them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need things like that. These were the practices of the idol worship. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this eye has, with one eye, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it haram. And then an important point is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uhilla lakumut tayyibat. So in the previous ayah, those were all those food which was haram. Now in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for you are permissible, for you are allowed, halal. Number one, tayyibat, pure, pure, clean. And number two, the food of the people of the book. That means the Jews and the Christians. Their food is halal for us. So is McDonald's halal? Hmm? <laughs> Somehow, okay, right, yeah. Is McDonald halal? Is McDonald halal? No. But Allah says, "To Amul Lazina Utul Kitab." McDonald is not Christian, right? Yeah. Ahlul Kitab. We need to understand. Ahlul Kitab means the people who follow the book which was revealed to Musa alayhi salam and the book which was revealed to Isa alayhi salam. 
not only Christian in name, okay, most people, most people claiming to be so-called Christians, but they are not. They don't believe in, 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 in Isa as the messenger of Allah. They don't believe in what is written in the book. They don't follow the book, right? It is written in the Bible that pork is haram, they eat it. It is written in the Bible, alcohol is haram, they drink it. It is written in the Bible that women are supposed to cover their head. They don't. Even the punishment for that, women not covering their head in the Bible is to shave their heads. So severe, but they are not following it. So don't think that you know the, these so-called Christians today, they are Christians and we are allowed to eat from McDonald's and other chains, right? And I know unfortunately that many brothers and sisters, unfortunately again, they, they take their children to McDonald's and saying that we are only buying fries there. Are there no other fries? Are there no other alternatives? And some of them saying that we are only going there to buy fish. And some of them are saying we are only going to buy their ice cream. How many, how many shops of ice cream only on Leeds Road? Let alone Great Horton Road. Only Leeds Road, right? There are so many alternatives. And McDonald's themselves, if you go on their website, they themselves said we are not halal. And even they can't, they have not confirmed that their fries and, and, and uh, their ice creams are halal. So what is the problem? Why should we, why should we not teach our children? And then especially, these days, what they are doing to our brothers and sisters, we know that, right? We are, look at this, you know, what is happening to our brothers and sisters, and these people are supporting those people, right? And we are even unable just to take the courage to buy cart McDonald's and to buy cart Pepsi and to buy cart Coke. And trust me, when I speak to brothers sometimes, when I go for some invitation and I see their cokes and pipsies and these things. And when I speak to them, why don't you buy a card? You know, at least this much you can do. And they come up with so many excuses. Subhanallah. They say, why not that country is not doing this thing? Why not that ruler is not doing this thing? You are not a ruler. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to ask you about that country. What they did and what they didn't do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not asking you if, about the ruler. You are not a ruler. You can't go there and fight, can we? We have to respect the law of, of the land, right? But whatever is in your capacity, respecting the law of the land within the law, Alhamdulillah, we Muslims are law-abiding citizens. We respect the law. We are law-abiding citizens. But what is allowed within the law of the land, at least we can do that. By law, we are allowed to buy cuts and products. By law, we are allowed to raise our voice to register our complaints for our brothers and sisters, right? So even if you come, Allah will not ask you what that ruler and that country did, but Allah will definitely ask you when Coke and Pepsi and McDonald's fries and ice creams, they were lying on your, in front of you in your food gatherings and, your, and, and that money was going there to kill your brothers and sisters, <coughs> what are we going to answer? Wallahi, if we are that much weak, what are we expecting? So my dear brothers and sisters, if they are listening, normally they don't. So if they are, please wake up. Do your part. Do your job. Teach it to your children. Educate your children. And again, let me clarify. This is not something which is, we are not trying to go against the law. I said Muslim Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, for the most part they are law abiding citizens of the country. And we must, it is compulsory upon us to respect the laws of, of the country where we live. This is our land, this is our country, we must respect the laws. But this country has also given us the right to raise our voice in a peaceful way, in a peaceful manner. And one of the ways is to at least buy card these products, insha'Allah ta'ala. And then further in the Jews, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just tells us some ahkam about wudu. And one of the very famous words in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us clear the law of uh, uh, purification. Ya ayyuhal lazina amunu iza kuntum ila sulati faqsilu. O people who you believe, when you stand for salah, then wash wujuhukum your faces 
وايديكم الى المرافق and your hands up to the elbows وامسحوا and wipe up on your heads برؤوسكم وارجلكم الى الكعبين and wash your feet up to the heels these are the minimum requirements for the wudu i know that there are sunna acts and then there are some mustahab acts but these are the compulsory these four things must be done for the wudu to be completed jazakumullah khairan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to act upon the deen of allah the way it was conveyed to us and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you immense reward for your patience and sitting here and insha allah ta'ala because it is weekend and uh, tomorrow is saturday brothers and sisters please bring your children your youngsters we need them you know tomorrow we won't be here but these youngsters they will be here they will be leading the community they will be the leaders here they will be the imams here and they will be the people who will be looking up uh, looking for them and who will be looking towards them so please make sure that you bring your sons you bring your daughters you bring your younger brothers and your younger sisters whatever uh, in your home insha allah taala once again jazakumullah khairan assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh